Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we will dive into the latest AI advancements comparing ChatGPT 4 and the newly launched ChatGPT 40. ChatGPT 40 offers a 30% improvement in factual accuracy and excels in creative tasks. We will reveal the top upgrades and how they can transform your AI experience. Get ready for an in-depth look at these powerful tools and find out which one is the game changer you have been waiting for. So let's explore the future of AI together. So first we'll start with the official documentation and those who want to jump straight to the comparison of ChatGPT 40 and 4 can directly jump to it with the timestamp mentioned in the description box. So let's start with documentation. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. So guys, just a quick info for you. So if you want to enhance your career in AI, then check out Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and machine learning with Purdue University and IBM. So this program is perfect for aspiring AI enthusiasts and professionals looking to switch careers. You can gain expertise in generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, and explainable AI. So hurry up and enroll now. You can find the course link in the description box and pin comment. So guys, here we have searched about the chat GPT photo documentation. And this is the official page of OpenAI. And here you can find out that they have put on advancements and the model capabilities that ChatGPT4 possesses. You could see here, they have posted the videos that two GPT-4s are interacting and singing. You can play and watch these videos. So how they have advanced this ChatGPT-4 compared to ChatGPT-4. And you could see uh, the vision capabilities of ChatGPT-4 as they are asking for the interview preparation with their vision capabilities. So similarly, you can check out all the other videos that they have posted and moving downwards, we can see that they have posted explorations of capabilities. You could select the sample that could be visual narratives or poster creation for the movie or character design. So you could check out how ChatGPT 4 and 40 are different. And as you move down, here they have mentioned the model evaluations between ChatGPT 40 and ChatGPT 4 Turbo. Here we have the text evaluation, audio ASR performance, audio translation performance, and they have posted the bar graphs and the charts with all the other AI tools compared. And then you have the language tokenization and what improvements they have made in that. That is, they have used Gujarati language, Telugu, Tamil, Marathi, Hindi, and they have achieved the fewer tokens in these models. Now we move downwards we can see that the model safety and limitations they have added some more safety features and the model availability that is chat gpt 4 is available for both the free version and the paid version so this was all about the official documentation of chat gpt 4 so let's get started with the comparison analysis of chat gpt 4 and 4 so guys i have opened chat gpt 4 here and in the other window, we'll open ChatGPT 40 and we'll provide the same prompts to both ChatGPT 4 and 40 and we'll see what responses they provide to us and in what time frame we'll compare the time frame also and how they conceptualize or provide the fractional prompts to responses. So starting with number one, so the number one category we will be choosing is factual inquiries. So we will ask both of them and we'll ask them that tell me something interesting about Marie Curie. And provide to chat GPT 4 also. So let's press enter and see which one of those will provide us a good response. Uh, so you could see that ChatGPT4 has provided us the response in a paragraph and if we read this so the tone is okay like it is telling to a third person and if we move to ChatGPT4 you could see here that it has categorized the points here 
that these are the main points that you could use as an interesting points about Marie Curie. So I would say chat GPT 40 has an edge here. And I won't think like there was a time difference. And I can say that we can't have any difference in the time taken by both the models. So now I'll move to next category that is complex scientific and technical prompts. So here we'll ask both the models about how quantum computers work and compare their advantages to classical computers. So let's ask them that explain how quantum computers and compare their advantages to classical computers. We'll copy the same prompt and paste it to ChatGPT4 also. So let's press enter. And till then, I will tell you guys that from here you can use the different model also that you have used GPT-40 here. It's showing you. After generating the response, I will show you guys how you can switch to the models also. Here you can copy it and here you can read it loud. And in the settings also, you can check out what voices you need as an assistant here. So moving back, we can see that ChatGPT4 is still responding and generating the response while ChatGPT40 has already done it. We can surely say that that ChatGPT40 has an edge with the time frame thing as it generated the response much faster than ChatGPT4. And if we compare what the responses they have provided and ChatGPT40 has mentioned how quantum computers work, advantages of quantum computers, comparison with classical computers, and after that challenges that quantum computers are facing. And if we see what ChatGPT4 has provided, you could see that how quantum computers work, and after that, the advantages of quantum computers and the comparison with classical computers. So you could see that with the less time frame, ChatGPT4 has provided more subtopics and the more points that he has covered. Whereas ChatGPT4 has provided the least information, but he has provided the okay information that we are sufficiently acquired with the prompt. But definitely I will give an edge to ChatGPT4 here. So here I was telling you about the change model thing. So you can click here and check out ChatGPT4 and ChatGPT4. If you click here ChatGPT4, it will generate the response again with GPT-4 model. As we have selected the ChatGPT-4 model here, but neglecting that, he will generate with the ChatGPT-4 model. So here after generating the response, if you click on 1 slash 2, so these uh, arrows, you can find out this response has been generated by GPT-4 model. And this response has been generated by GPT-4 model. And you can have this comparison in the same window also. But I am using different windows. So we'll compare it in one and another only. So now moving to the next section, that is creative writing. So now we'll ask both these models to write a short poem about a moonlit night in a forest. So let's ask them that write a short poem about a moonlit night in a forest. So let's copy the same prompt and paste it in GPT-4. <clears throat> and let's wait for the response. As you guys can see that GPT-4 has already generated the response and here GPT-4 has also generated. And before comparing both these responses, I want you guys to notice something that this new version of OpenAI, that is GPT, they have moved the profile section from bottom left to top right. And there are many more advancements. If you see here, this is the history section and the memory feature. And you could find many other features that could be managed memory in the profile sections only. So if you go into personalized category, here we have the memory section. 
So moving back to the prompt response. So here we have the GPT-4 model. And if we read this poem, in the forest deep where shadows play, the moon casts light in a silver array, whispers of leaves in a gentle breeze, dance with the night in serene, silent ease. And if we compare this, so GPT-4 has provided a really a short poem, whereas GPT-40 has provided us the four paras. And if I tell you about the tone, so GPT-40 has an edge here, as it has provided a really crafted good poem than GPT-4. So now we'll compare these models on the basis of text analysis skills or before that we'll compare them on complex mathematical and logical queries. So we'll ask them to solve a quadratic equation and we'll provide them the equation, solve the equation. That would be 3x square minus 12x plus 9 equal to 0 and explain each step. So let's see which model does its job better. So you could see the writing speed also like how this cursor is moving. I would definitely say that ChatGPT 4 has a good speed here. And it has generated the response and GPT-4 has also generated the response. So I would say that GPT-4 has taken six steps to solve this and provided a detailed information how you can solve the quadratic equation. And whereas GPT-4 has shown us the three steps and he has integrated other steps in step one only. That is factorize the quadratic equation. So if you are a beginner, you could definitely switch to chat GPT-40 to understand these quadratic equations or mathematical equations. So giving another point to chat GPT-40 here. Now we'll move to another category that is data analysis questions. So now we'll provide a data set to both of them. Uh, so this will be the data, samples, sales data. So here we will ask both the models to create a bar chart between sales and region. You would see that both the models are analyzing and here we are chat gpt4 has provided us the response and the main thing that i want to showcase here is that chat gpt4 has now interactive images or bar graphs or the visual representations here if you click to static chart they have an option here so now this bar chart is not static and you could just have the plain 2d design and if we click on this again, you could see that you could find the actual figure what has been showcased in the bar graph. And similarly, here you could change the data set color. That is, you can change the color of the bar graphs or the bars in the graph. And moreover, you have the download section here also and the expand section. If you expand it, you could see that here you can generate the response and chat with GPT-4 model and have the output here. So we will get back to the window. And here you can see that chat GPT-4 has provided us the basic response as it was doing previously also. So here's the bar chart and no interactive design and no download option. Moreover, no other expanding options also. So let's move to the next category and that would be our last category. So now we'll ask both the models about solving philosophical and ethical problems. So now we'll ask them, do animals have moral rights? So justify your answer. We'll copy paste the same prompt to GPT-4 model. 
and ask both of them to generate the response. So you could see that both has generated the responses and if we compare them so chat gpt4 has provided the number one point that is argument for moral rights of animals and then the second point that is argument against moral rights of animals and if we move to gpt4 section he has also provided the main topics but he has provided the subtopics and highlighted what are the main key points for both that is moral rights and against moral rights. So I would definitely say that ChatGPT 4 has improved factual accuracy and response discipline. Like he has a framework to provide the response, whereas ChatGPT 4 just provides the response in a basic manner. And one more category we'll see here, that is we'll ask him to create an image of two robots fighting or facing each other or in a face off so let's copy the same prompt to gpt4 model also so here's the response you can see that chat gpt4 has generated an image with two robots in a dramatic face-off in a futuristic arena and whereas that GPT-4 has also generated two futuristic robots in a dramatic face-off and I would definitely say that GPT-4 has done a good job here his image is much better than GPT-4 so if I tell you about the conclusion so choosing between chat GPT-4 and chat GPT-4 depends largely on your specific needs if your work requires detailed analysis and you often engage in complex discussions, then ChatGPT 4 might be the better choice with its deep understanding and retention capabilities. However, if you need quick turnaround times and are managing multiple tasks or collaboration, speed and efficiency will likely serve you better. So both tools have their merits and can significantly enhance your content creation process and other data analysis processes. So as these technologies evolve, Staying informed about updates will help you continue making the best use of Gen AI in your work. So with that guys, we have come to the end of this session. If you like this session, please like, share and subscribe. And if you have any doubts or comments, then comment down in the comment section below. Till then, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.